You know, I wrote a children's book because uh, typically I'm involved with a lot of the, the seniors in high school and some of the older guys, but I wanted to kind of get down to the youth, and uh, I wanted to kind of tell them a good message, but also show them that, you know, they're, you know, they have issues and things that, you know, we can talk about and get across, and uh, I wanted to put Freeport in there. That's where I grew up, and those, those are some of the things that I went through. Uh, you know, like, you know, some of the problems and, you know, issues that I had growing up, dealing with things that you don't like to do, but uh, it was just great that I could kind of come out there and we all wrote uh, or collaborated on a story that uh, worked well for everybody. It took, you know, about two years to do, and uh, even though it was a challenging pro uh, process, it was very, it's very rewarding when you, you have the finished products. It's something that he wanted to do and, and part of his giving back to the community. His desire was always to be able to give back and he first saw that through the foundation and he established that because he felt that as he went through school, he felt blessed and even though he felt blessed, he knew he was surrounded by the number of kids who did not have the same opportunities that he had. The one thing that I'm so excited about the foundation is that we do more than just give scholarships. That's not something, we don't limit ourselves to that. We have a skills and drills event that we do every year at Hostra where we take high school seniors, Freeport, Roosevelt, Uniondale, Baldwin, Hempstead, and Malvern, and we educate them not only on the importance of financial responsibility, we bring in uh, financial advisors, we talk about that first year transition, what to expect because, you know, suicides and, uh, you know, depression, those are real things that affect people. Brick was an incredibly distinguished student. He distinguished himself as a very, very fine gentleman, a leader. Everyone who met him and saw him knew that he was going to be a success. We never thought he'd be on the football, have the success in football he has, but certainly we felt that he was going to be a very, very successful man uh, professionally in life.